What's up everybody? I'm here in uh, Sanya still with my brother Wesley. Um, and we are about to check out a small uh, aquarium store. Not very big. They seem to have a lot of choices, so let's go take a look. Uh, goldfish. That's way too many. Oh, are they koi? No, they're koi, I think. It's a lot in that tank. Way too many, I would say. These? I think that they are blood parrots. If I'm correct, these are also blood parrots up here. Yeah. That one in the back doesn't seem too healthy. Too broken. Little gross. They have goldfish up here. A lot of goldfish. A bunch of African cichlids. It looks like babies. Baby cichlids. Thank you. It is not very well lit in here. Maybe that's to avoid algae. Here we have a beautiful, humongous Asian arowana that is in a tank that is way, way, way too small for him. My god, he is beautiful. If anyone knows what type of Asian arowana this is, please let me know. I want to know. This is a beautiful fish. Also, if anyone can tell me how old he is, this is him compared to the size of my hand. Tell me how old he is. I would love to know. Oh my god, he is a beautiful fish. Yeah, but another arrow, a couple arowanas down here. Oh no, one arowana and. Nah, just one more arowana, a few koi. Looks like a iridescent shark. And that fish, it looks like an arowana. Well, I don't know if he wants to be in front of the camera. This, this, this arowana's back is dead. Can anyone tell me if that's normal? Back here we have even more fish. We have another arowana. He's big, but he is not very active. Not sure what's up with him. He's alive. And there's some fish in here. I don't know if he's bothering to eat those. Um, here I have another arowana. Some of these guys. If anyone knows what those are, let me know. And then this little dude looks like a fancy tail goldfish that was probably used as a feeder. I hope not. It's a beautiful fish for a feeder. I don't know what he's doing in here. And we have a uh, pleco in here as well. That's pretty cool. We have this tank down here that's got some koi. They look like they're largely being ignored. As are these, oh my word, that is a way overstocked tank for these koi. I feel bad because koi are like goldfish in that they produce a ton of waste. This fish here, he looks like he's mostly dead. He is not doing so hot. I don't know what he is, but he's not doing so hot. His eyes glazed over, he's gasping for air. There's a little turtle down there too. And here we have a young arowana. Cute little guy. These tanks are all dark over here, but we have some arowanas. More arowanas. Arowanas are very popular in Asian culture, specifically here in China. We have a pleco down there. He's cute. A couple more plecos. Cute little dudes. Blood parent. And an arowana. Arowanas are very popular here. It's insane. Here's a small one. If I were to get one, I might get this little guy. I like his color. He's not very shiny, but I like his, his uh, color scheme. Pretty cool. More overstocked koi tanks. And here, we have discus. Wow, these discus are beautiful. I don't know a lot about discus, but these guys have amazing colors and I'm really loving them. This guy's starting to flare some colors, that I like it a lot. Oh my word, beautiful fish. This one right here. Oh my word, these are beautiful fish. I have another set of discus over here. Arowana. 
And then they have this guy. See, I don't know a lot about multi so many different species of fish. Is that a gar of some kind? Not entirely sure. These look like feeders. Another gar looking thing. I'm not entirely sure what it is. And then more koi down there. Another arowana. So many arowanas here. They're super popular here in China. Uh, there's a lot of arowana in here too. And what, what is this fish? Can somebody tell me what these are? Very interesting. This guy, he looks not much better than the other one of his kind that was in the other tank. There's a fish in the back over there that might be dead. He's not moving. And more uh, tanks over here. Oh, what do we have? We have some sort of uh, grub over here that's probably used for food. Here we have a whole lot of blood parrots. With red light, that's very interesting. I'm not sure why they chose to do that. There's some ringing in the background that's really annoying. Got some uh, aquatic plants in here. I don't know if we got snails on them or not. Hopefully not, but I'm not buying anything. More overstock corn tanks. Here in the back, we have these guys. Ooh. There's no aggression happening. Nice. I'm surprised these guys aren't getting aggressive at all. They're in such horrible conditions. This is a very much overstocked common pleco tank. These plecos are getting really big. And if you thought this was overstocked, these are big guys. Look at how overstocked the little ones, or even slightly smaller ones are. So overstocked. A couple of these fish look very sick. Look like they might have some sort of slime coat issue, or maybe uh, maybe some sort of fungal infection. They got like white slime looking on them. Does not look good. These guys... They just don't look happy. If you look at this Pleco, he's got white all over him. Looks like it could be fungal or it could be rot. I'm not entirely sure. He does not look happy. Not sure if this turtle is alive. He probably is. What are these guys? I haven't gotten into a lot of bigger fish, so I don't know what a lot of the bigger fish are. If someone could tell me what these are, I'd really appreciate it. We have some young arowanas in here. Along with these guys, what are these white dudes? And what are these gray dudes? I've seen them a lot, but I'm not entirely sure what they are. These look like uh, cichlids. Blood parrots with different colors. I've never seen these before. But like I said, I'm not that experienced with, with a fish that can get a little bit bigger. These guys are cute. Couple of, oh, we've got a few angelfish in there. It's a lot of angels for this little tank. Not a lot of swimming room for them, but this is a store and they probably sell out pretty quickly. I would hope so anyway. Here we have a beautiful flower horn. He is gorgeous. Now, he could be a female, I don't know, but it's gorgeous, whatever it is. And he looks happy. Ooh, he's a handsome boy. Look at him. Just look at him. The beautiful flower horn. Here we have fancy tail guppies. Uh huh. There's a lot of different mixed kinds of guppies. Uh, for some reason, they're not trying to keep them separated for specific breeding. So you probably get a bunch of 
mixed breeds. Oh, these guppies look like they've been have, especially that guy, he had his fins nipped on. Either that or he's suffering from rot. Rot would not be good. These guys are in some sort of a feeding frenzy. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. But that, I don't know, that just doesn't look very healthy. There is a few dead fish. There's a few dead fish sucked into the filter over there. There's a dead fish down there. These are probably just feeders. But still, when you trying to feed something to your fish, you want to feed them something that's healthy. Because if you're feeding them something sick, then it's not going to be good for your fish. We have some more of these beautiful fish. And if you ask me, that's way too many goldfish for one tank, but it is a fish store. They probably sell out fast. I've already seen like five people, while I've been here, like five people have bought fish, and I've only been in here 15 minutes. More guppies. Oh, here's some more flower horns. Hey, buddy. The same flower horn. There's another one. How you doing? He's so pretty. Small or juvenile balloon mollies mixed with some other fish. These look like some sort of... Are they a tetra? These guys look like some sort of tetra or something. Um... Strangely enough, I didn't see any neon tetras or cardinal tetras. This is super popular in the U.S., but as here we have some more of uh, these. They don't look so happy. Clamp fins on most of them. And uh, I'm not sure if they're like platies or something. They might be platies. But that one really is not looking. Where'd he go? Disappeared. This one at the top. These. Oh, that's definitely fin rot. Yep, I had a. I lost a platy to uh, tail rot. It was horrible. Um. So yeah, I don't know all these species of fish, but they're really cool looking. But I would definitely say that they keep their fish in very cramped quarters as compared to. Uh, in the U.S., but I will say most of the water clarity has been great, so they do a good job with mechanical filtration. I'm not sure what their parameters are as far as other stuff. These guys look like endlers. That guy's definitely an endler. But they also look like they could have some guppies mixed in there with them. Maybe they're endler guppies, who knows? They're wondering if I can speak Mandarin. But these are some beautiful fish. I like them. And then there's these sailfin mollies. They're not looking so happy either. Looks like some rainbows. If I was an Olofsen man, would you speak English? Do you understand? You should not. You should not. You should not. You should not. You 是美国人吗? And look, these guys are really cute too. Three. And some goldfish. And these, oh, I think got some glowy fish. I'm not sure if those are like real glowfish or if those are like injected. I can't tell. So, that's it for this fish store. I mean, I saw a lot wrong with it. But they also sell out really quickly, so... I'm not saying it's right to keep these fish in these conditions, but I mean, they do sell out pretty quickly, so they're not in there for very long. It could be that it's just like a temporary holding place, but I do know that I saw a lot of sick fish in certain tanks, and that a lot of these tanks are sharing water too, which is not good because if then sickness gets into one tank, it'll get into a bunch of the others. It's very sad to see all those goldfish and koi in the same small container. I have no idea what the heck they're doing, but uh, I will say that this is probably the best fish store I've seen in China yet. 
I haven't looked at fish stores in other places in China, just in Sanya so far. But um, if this is what China has to offer, then they obviously need. I, I, I'm not trying to be offensive or anything. I'm not an expert. I don't pretend to be. But one of these days, I want to be. And I want to see if maybe I can open up a shop here in China one day. That's that's an idea. Anyway, see you guys.